Hi everyone, my name is Lulu. Welcome to my Lou on Tuesday. <laughs> Lou on Two, which is kind of now, I've decided it's going to be my rant day. Now, I don't know how many rants I have in me, but maybe then it'll go to bad product reviews. But right now, it is a uh, rant. And today's subject <laughs> is YouTubers of any size and blending eyeshadow. I know there's a, as a matter of fact, a YouTuber, I forget his name, but he has his own, like he came up with the formula for clean, you know, for your own brush cleaner. And his, his whole motto was blend, 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 blend. And many of us, he, he's old school. Uh, if you know his name, put it down below. I wanna say it starts with a K. Anyway, blend, blend, blend. Um, and I know that is extraordinarily important and a big factor is, of course, your formula of the eyeshadow as well as the brush that, you know, certain brushes pick up that same product very differently. It can pick up too much, it can pick up too little, it can, while you're blending, it can actually take it off. So there's two components. Okay, get that. Not a makeup artist at all. Not a zip, nothing. But I've worn makeup all a long time. I'm still wearing the false, the false, the false lash, the false lashes. What do you think? It's day two, so I was able to so twice. So okay, so the price per wear has now gone down to six fifty. That's pretty good. I'll be watching a YouTube video, and they'll be trying either to make a look, or they are testing a new eyeshadow or a new palette, and they're like, I can't get this to blend. I can't get this to blend. Maybe if I try using this transition, I can't get this to blend. Do you see that? And I sit at home going, no, I, I don't see that. And I'll put it on full screen. I don't see that. A few times I've actually gone to my, in our family room, to the big TV and put YouTube on. No, I don't see the problem there. It looks perfectly blended to me. It makes me crazy. And then, of course, I'm thinking, right, right there, it's just not blending. Hmm, looks perfectly fine to me. What can I say? I don't know what else to say. It looks perfectly fine to me. Oh, my gosh. It's just, it's, it's a craziness. Along that same line are foundation reviews. That is a hot, you know, you're looking for a niche and you can afford to buy a new foundation every week, go for it. I locked the door and still Lucy will come in. The foundation, you know, review and, and the sooner they can get their hands on a new foundation, whew, they're, you know, they're on Sephora seeing if there's deluxe size samples and ordering and whatever it is and, you know, ordering from directly from the website rather than waiting for the launch at Alta or Nordstrom or Sephora. I, I don't get the point. If you have um, me, I have very oily skin, very, very, all year long, even in the freezing cold of Chicago. I would never review a dewy hydrating foundation. What would be the point? What could anybody learn from that? And I know that I'm probably the exception of being an oily person after all the YouTubers, I'd say 30 and older, maybe even 20, because even the young ones talk about having dry skin. That's like, why would they, with dry skin, review a foundation that is known to be matte, to be um, controlling oil? And then at the end of the review, they are complaining. The oily skin girls who are ladies who are hydrate, uh, using hydrating or do it, oh, it's breaking up here, it slid off my nose, it this. What? Hello? I could have told you that. Actually, I could have saved you the money so you didn't have to go and buy the thing. It makes me nuts. I, the best reviews are reviews that matter to me and are like me. I, I have no desire to watch a, someone with very dry skin put on a very dewy foundation. I will say, in my case, I like to be able to recommend things and I will always say I've never used it, this is not my situation, but somebody I trust very deeply 
founded to maintain its glow all day without breaking apart, lasted eight hours, yada, yada, yada. But for most people, they're not making YouTube videos. They don't have people coming to them for advice. Why? Like, why? And then at the end, you just tear it apart. Now, there are many foundations, and this is on to the next subject, that you know, allegedly are for all skin types, and it's a natural matte or natural satin finish. I can see almost anybody and everybody reviewing that. Um, and then they always do one side with the beauty blender and one side with the brush. Do what you normally do. That's what I say. And usually the brushes have more coverage. Usually, I feel every once in a while you'll hear one that says the beauty blender is more, but how do you know you're putting on the exact amount, you know? All right, speaking of foundations, and this foundation is for everyone, the shopping channels. I'm almost done with this rant, the shopping channels. It is an insult. I have now learned, I didn't know this two, three, four years ago, but inclusivity, this is something I have learned, kind of like single-use plastic. My eyes have been open to this. And they'll have six shades. And medium fits 80% of the people. That, I understand from a business perspective, they can't carry that much inventory. And how do you differenti differentiate these colors? I understand from a business perspective, and I understand you want this foundation to be sold from the QVC site, but isn't real customer service about maybe mentioning that if you need more colors, there are stores or our own website that can better explain them? Isn't that what it's about, helping the customer? If I can't help you, I will find somebody who does. And they're for every skin type. No, they're not. And 80% will fall into the medium range. No, we won't. And the more we buy from them, the more we are supporting that mentality. Why? Everybody's got great return policies. You know, IT Cosmetics, Tarte, Too Faced, you know, they're all Lancome. And you can even go and maybe get a sample at Sephora. But I, I do shop. <laughs> yeah, I shop. But I have to tell you, that makes me crazy is when these shopping channels, oh, it fits on every, every age, every skin type. Oh, and it just, you look smooth and it's full coverage. Everything is suddenly full coverage. No, it's not. And I'm being lied to. And I think the most important thing of this rant is I can rant to you till I'm blue in the face about these things. The thing is to go to their website, to go to the QVC website and the blah, 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 makeup line website and say, I watched you on QVC, I ordered that product, I've now used it three times, I'm sorry, you should no longer say it's full coverage, or I'm sorry, this is not for all skin types, and stop fooling us, kind of scold them, stop fooling us. I, uh, I was recently on, was it my beauty page uh, on Facebook, some page, and people, somebody asked, can you usually find a foundation match? And many of them were naming um, foundations that are bought, that are now bought and sold. I mean, Benefit is on HSN. You know, a lot of the brands are on QVC and HSN, uh, to some extent, Evine. And I'm thinking, oh, well, that's why you can't find a match. Because if you go to the store, there's going to be 40 colors online, on, on the shopping channel. It's only six colors. Like, <sighs> Anyway, that, that kind of makes me crazy. And I probably shouldn't even start a new rant. I drink wine every night. I drink it from a different wine glass. Just like my coffee, I drink from a different coffee cup every morning. I have a very fine, nice, cute, whatever collection of coffee cups and wine. And as a matter of fact, if you were to come to my house for wine, for you know, we were having dinner, all of the wine glasses would be, would be different. So, uh, this is Kim Crawford, a, a Sauvignon Blanc out of New Zealand. I will only drink, I like Sauvignon Blanc, but only from New Zealand. It's much more grapefruity, lemony, you know, tart, not, not bitter, not dry, but just a tartness about it, a, you know, refreshing, like biting into a, one of those Granny Smith apples or red grapefruit. Um, Don't start me on skincare on these shopping channels. Like, 
just don't start me. But since I'm already wound up, why not? Everything, you need everything apparently. Didn't they tell you that with the last product? Or the last product? Or 12 products ago? And now there are more products. Well, then take those away because clearly if this is new technology and it's so great, then you don't need that one, right? Oh, how does it make you feel? What does your skin look like? And callers, you know, swear they see results in just a week. Okay. Lies. All lies. If you were using absolutely nothing, then you probably did see something in a week, and that's called hydration and moisturization. But it is to get on the air. I don't know what is, but it, it, these all, well, I guess you can see this about any skincare, but there's someone standing there for an hour at a time, you know, once a month, twice a month, just going on and on and on about all these products, and you, after a while you're like, isn't that one firming? And now this one's firming? Wait, isn't that one supposed to brighten my skin? And this one and that one? But you, you better buy all three. You all know who I'm talking about on the, if you watch the shopping channels. But So I guess this is, oh, I don't know what I'm going to call it now. But I wish I knew what the mistake was with blending eyeshadow because I can never see it to the point where I get aggravated and all hussy and fussy about it and have to go start all over again or... Just this look isn't working. This look I, looks fine to me. And then uh, foundation reviews that you really shouldn't be reviewing. I mean, you simply should, shouldn't be reviewing it because it's not for your skin type. And don't tell me, oh, but this might work on oily skin. If you've never had oily skin, don't, don't tell me that. Or keep, if you insist on doing every new foundation because that is your shtick. That is your way of growing the channel. This is what you are going to be known from, and I'm going to be a foundation reviewer as soon as they hit the market. If that is your shtick, your 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 marketing technique, that you know that's the reputation you're building, then I think it's important that you constantly say, especially at the end, I expected this because I have dry skin, and this foundation is made for oily skin. So please keep this in mind. I have very dry skin. This foundation was not made for me. And yes, of course, it's slipping. Uh, but I wanted you to see the application on clean skin. I wanted you to see whether it had poor coverage, um, whether it went on better with a blender or a brush. But please note, I am testing this foundation, although it is one that I would normally never buy because it is for oily skin and I have very dry skin. Just at least do that. At least do that and these shopping channels, colors. We have, take action, take action. Go to their website, I mean Facebook pages, and just a two sentence comment, and then go to the manufacturer, it's a two sentence comment. Like it doesn't matter me complaining to you, what matters is that every time I see this, I go onto their page and I make a little complaint. It's like, oh, I have to stop with this rant. Alt not giving out samples. Again, we all complain about it. How many of us have gone to the Alto? You don't even have to like, email or write a letter. You just go to their Facebook page and say, hey, it's 2019, can we get samples please? And touche to the drugstore, at least many at Ulta, many of the drugstore brands are now doing testers. All right, enough about this rant. Just tell me, does the blending, do you see when they, when they say it's not blending? Can you see that? Can you see that harsh line? I rarely can. Um, and it just you know kind of makes me crazy. Anyway, uh, tell me if you agree. Tell me about especially the skincare that you need this much and this. I belong to some pages. People show their closet of skincare, and I'm thinking, oh my goodness! Like, and I have news for you. None of that's going to take your lemons away. Go get Botox. Good night, everybody. Have a lovely day tomorrow. Well, it's evening for me. Have a lovely day. I will see you. I have to put up, um, March 10th was a few days ago, I have to put up my Purposeful Tossing series. And so that's probably the next video you will see. Thanks for staying with me. Bye.